Hey guys, Kat Kerr, and I am going to start a vlog. I know, pretty exciting, right? You guys are going to be so entertained. Not really. I have a pretty boring life. Um, but I decided to give this a go um, because I started watching some other creatives in their vlogging and, you know, I find it really fascinating to get a little bit of the behind the scenes um, with a lot of these people that, you know, I admire and they only share uh, a tiny bit on social media. So it's kind of nice to see a little bit more. Um, and so it's also uh, going to be part record for me, just uh, keeping track of what I do and little things here and there. Um, but, um, but my hope is that I'll be able to share um, what inspires me. I'll be able to share um, some of the way that I work, some of the you know things that work for me, and um, some of the tools that I like to use, uh, as well as some uh, tricks and trades um, that I like to also use, and um, a little bit of personal family life, which to me is the most important thing of all, because um, I am very determined to figure out a way to balance it all, which can be very difficult um, because I am a wife, a mother, and an artist, and learning how to balance all of that can be very hard. But I take the challenge wholeheartedly because I feel very um, blessed to be able to do what I do. So um, in the other room, you can hear my kids. They've got some friends over, everybody's playing, and you know, they're older, I don't need to monitor them. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, it can get a little loud in the Kerr household. So, um, so yeah, this is going to be the first in a series, and my hope is to do it right now once a month, and then we'll take it from there. And I'll just share a little bit of every day, not every day, because you'll fall asleep, but um, just a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes in a month of uh, my creative life. So sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I will admit it. I begin and end the month with the calendar. I am a calendar hog. I, um, I am a planner. It's just in my nature. If it works for you, use it. If it doesn't, don't. But for me, some of the things that I like to add to the calendar are deadlines, start dates and due dates, workshop prep, if I need to order supplies for an upcoming workshop, when they need to be ordered by, product promotions, if I need samples for a specific product promotion, if I need a, a blog post for a specific product promotion, any kind of art travel and article deadlines. So why am I such a stickler about putting all of this stuff on the calendar? Because if I don't, then it's going to interfere with the most important thing on the calendar, which is family time. Now June started off a little shaky. I had to cancel a retreat that I had planned um, for Art and Soul in Colorado due to personal reasons, which I've never done before. Um, but there were some changes at the beginning of the month. But I do have um, two uh, scheduled video tutorials and two unplanned videos that I ended up creating in June. Also, at the end of the month is my um, debut of online class for Wonderlust 2019. So keep in mind that we're in June and it's summer break, which means the house is full. If you're anything like me, you don't like cleaning your gel press plate because I never clean it unless I need to start on a new project and I need zero paint on the plate. So what do I do? I just take um, packing tape and I make my own decorative packing tape that I use in journal pages and other things. And I just put it on and peel that beautiful paint right off. Something you need to know about me and my family is we love um, going to the amusement parks here in Florida. We're totally obsessed with Universal Studios. So you're gonna see some posts on our day trips that we take there and um, especially one of our biggest loves, which is Halloween Horror Nights. Now this month was the opening of Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure Coaster, and we haven't been there, because look at the wait. First day, it was like eight hours, eight to 10 hours. No thanks, we'll wait.
Cat Kerr. Hey guys, Cat Kerr, and I am. Hi guys, my name is Cat. Hey guys, Cat Kerr, and I'm so. Oh, oh I'm already recording. Hello. I was gonna say <laughs> I am totally obsessed with white craft plastic by graphics this stuff I can scratch and scratch and scratch and scratch and then scratch some more and it doesn't damage the substrate I totally love it So here's some progress pics of my first finished acrylic canvas. It's a 24 by 24 and it was a Father's Day gift and wow, it's called change because I think I painted over it like, I don't even know, maybe 10, 15 times. It was a lot, but I had a lot of fun painting. Now hubby always comes home with these wonderful finds from uh, an estate sale or a garage sale and every once in a while um, he'll bring home just this beautiful treasure and he got this 1961 yearbook and I absolutely loved it and I wanted to use the images but I didn't want to lose the images and um, just use them the one time so I cut out some of my favorites, put them on a, a piece of white cardstock, scanned it and then reprinted them onto um, matte computer graphics film um, and the reason I did matte computer graphics film is because it's semi-transparent and that's what I was looking for for my journal page. Tiny, what are you doing, Tiny? What are you doing on my table, Tiny? You're not supposed to be up here. Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and welcome to my new product series. Now I'm always on the hunt for products that do specific things. So for this series, my hope is to try products in various ways in order to give myself and you an accurate assessment. This way we can learn what a specific product works best with and what it doesn't. Now I'm not getting paid by any company to use their products. Some companies might choose to send me products, but the opinion is totally mine. My only hope is that the assessment gives you insight and helps you choose the right products for your project. So let's go ahead and get started. Now something else you should know about me, I'm a huge, huge, huge space fan. Um, this Falcon Heavy rocket went up at 2.30 in the morning and it was magnificent. I've definitely come to the realization that there are just not enough women artists in the history books, so I say let's spread the love. I first spotted this painting about 15 years ago. Um, it's called Marie Antoinette with the Rose, and it's by French artist Elizabeth Louise Lebrun. I hope I didn't totally butcher her name. Um, but she had multiple paintings with Marie, um, but that is definitely my all-time favorite. Thank you. 
Are you looking for something to do with that stack of gel press prints? Make sure you check out my new video. It's a, a cube that I created with gel press prints to show you um, my workspace here. And so it's just an extra bedroom in the house and I even have crap on the doors everywhere. Every little inch of space is taken up. Um, I currently share this space with my hubby. He has this side right here, this side of the room, but he's actually gonna be moving out and um, he's gonna have a different space. So I am going to be taking care, taking over of um, this area where I will put my computer and actually have an area to display other people's art. I can't believe it. I'm so excited about that. And um, computer stuff, um, toaster, thing, tools, whatever. So all of these boxes are going to be gone soon and I will have that front area. Um, and the rest of the room is just ceiling to floor full of supplies. I mean, come on, right? We never have enough supplies. So it's just all of my things. I'm kind of, I do like to have things organized just because it just helps for me um, to have um, everything in its place and I know where everything is so it just helps me creatively but when I'm creating in the act of creating I am just a complete slobosaurus so um, just a little bit of everything and you know we got these um, cabinets at one of those like thrift um, areas so we were able to um, get them at a really good price and hubby installed them for me and he also put in the um the shelving and um he was very very helpful so i try to keep things as organized as i can but it just doesn't always work out that way i have my um spot for all of my plates my gel press plates i have um this is all specialty papers and plastics um, that I don't want to lay flat and um, some acrylic paints different sprays and things like that check out my really absolutely filthy counter there that's got a lot of love right I love it <laughs> okay and um, some more counter space Full, of course with stuff and this table over here is really where I do just metalworking stuff um, and I also video um, I record here a lot of times kind of see and this is my long table I just <sighs> Oh gosh, how the heck did I end up with so much stuff, right? So much stuff. These are just some of my favorite stamps and designs. And this one, hubby came home with this find. Isn't that beautiful? It's an old Mary Poppins comic. Absolutely love it. And this has to be my favorite spot just because it's the only place that I have some natural light. But I also do some filming here. And um, so it's a good space for um, one person because it is very tight. But I'm thankful for it. I worked from the dining room table for years and years and years. So it's kind of nice having a little space. And then once hubby leaves, you're out of here, mister. I am going to take over this space. So that's it. Thanks for stopping by.